Tim and Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. Today we got a new surprise in the mail. We were sent an email from Kasori asking if we would like to try out one of their products. It is a... Let's open the box. Okay, let's do an unboxing and see. Do, 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 coffee warmer and coffee mug set just what your coffee always wanted and as you can see it's a pretty small box i've always tim, got a coffee cup tim in always my has hand. his coffee and goodness that one doesn't keep it all that warm it's a turvis and it's a very well used it's, turvis it's well insulated but the problem is during later in the day i drink coffee all day long it seems to get cool so we were excited to get this opportunity and invitation from kasori and we will leave a link below to both their website and Facebook page and also this particular product. They sent it to us from Amazon. So we are going to open it up, show you what's in the box, and then Tim is gonna test it out because he drinks a lot of coffee. So let's see what it looks like. It's stainless steel. It's a 17 ounce mug. It's well packaged. Oh, it I is like well it. That's packaged. That's a nice mug. It's stainless on the inside. It's food grade stainless steel. Yeah, it looks about the same size about as the this same one. Size. It's a 17 ounce. I'll have to rinse it out before I can yes, we put will coffee in it. And then we have, um, looks like just a normal. Just an end, end of the, end mm -hmm. of the regular wall plug. Not a USB, just a power. Not a USB. Just a power adapter. And then there's the warmer. And this warmer can be used for other things other than it just... It can be used for tea and hot cocoa and any kind of a hot drink. I guess it that's the lid. It did come with the lid for the... Does it fit on there? Fit snug. Oh, I didn't get that part. I held it upside down. <laughs> it fits snug. And it, it won't doesn't leak. Come off, so that's... Do not drink from the lid. Opening is for a stir oh okay opening is for a stirring spoon take off lid before drinking that's that really? i did not expect that i thought that was going to be a all those openings uh, i did too for coffee so i did not expect that that's different so you don't drink with the lid on huh. that's just for stirring with a spoon okay, so, so it's not really a travel cup in that case it's not a travel it doesn't have a lid to make it a travel one no okay I thought that's so we're going to plug that in and hold on i'm going to bring up some stats about this thing okay here's the adapter I'm gonna plug it in, and there's a little port on the back of it. And it comes on. Very well lit. It said that it has high tech details with touch tech controls, an LED display, and a water resistant plate. You can easily switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. The temperature readings of the warming plate are precise down to one degree. The mug is made of FDA approved and food grade 304 stainless steel. It has a cool touch handle, a silicone slip resistant sleeve, and a stylish brush finish. The flat mug bottom makes full contact with the warming plate to keep your coffee cozy. So that's pretty cool. It says the plate will go up to 230 degrees. Beverage temperatures will range from 77 degrees to 158 degrees. Surely people don't drink their coffee that hot. Oh, we like it hot. I don't like it that And hot. there is a thank you with a bonus one year warranty if you register it within 14 days. So Tim's gonna put some, we're gonna wash it up and Tom's. get some coffee in it and give it a shot and see how, how hot it works, how long it takes it to get it hot. Also comes with some instructions. So it's got some operation and maintenance and care instructions about how to set it up, but I think we've done most of that. But we'll read through it and come back. Okay, I'll put coffee in the mug, and I, when I put my hand on the mug, I can feel the heat transferring through it. So, and that tells me that the mug will stay hot as far as it's stainless. Place it on the warmer, hit the power button. It flashes. Oh. 
and it shows that it's currently 79.4. That's the warmer is 79.4 or the inside right, beverage? Right, and it's actually okay. increasing Oh, it now. sure is. Look at it. Oh, it's going up pretty fast. Do you stop it when you get to a certain temperature? You set the temperature with the up and down arrow. It's currently at 230. All right, I've read a couple things, both online and also in the care and maintenance guide. One thing is, this is a stainless mug, so they recommend that you do not put it in the dishwasher, so you need to hand wash it. Also, obviously, since it's metal, and since it comes with a warmer, you would not put it in the microwave to warm it up. And another tip that we read online is that you need to be a little careful of the um, stainless that it can burn your, the edge of your mouth as you're drinking the coffee, the, the way it heats up. So we're trying to figure out how to set it for the right temperature and what temperature it needs to be for Tim. He does like his coffee really hot. Okay, Tim pulled the plastic. There was a little plastic strip over the readout, so we pulled that off and it's still heating. And we're still trying to figure out how to set it to the target temperature. It's not very hot there. Still. 130 would be hot for me. It's probably been going about two minutes now. We're gonna see how long it takes to come up to temperature. Okay, to set it, all you do is use the up and down arrows. Yeah, and it let's came get in below boiling. Yeah, I would, I would not want to drink it when it was boiling. Two twelve. So I would go. So. Let's try two hundred. So you set it just with the up and down arrows to your basically your target temperature. So see, we've set it for two hundred. It's currently at one thirty-eight and warming. We've left it in the uh, the coffee warming for about 40 minutes or so maybe a little less a little over 30. Um, it has brought up the temperature to 146. And, and on the warmer the warmer was actually set about, to 200. About 185 or 186. That's where so. it actually got to before it got to be 145 146 here so I think that's the temperature I like my coffee. That's gonna be personal preference. Some people may like it hotter, some people may not. I don't like my stuff as hot. So that will be something you would have to work with. But what are your first impressions? So far so good. I'll use it for a week or so and we'll let you guys know if we've changed our mind on anything. Thank you to Kasori for sending us this product to review. We've got a link below, as we said, to this stainless steel mug and Warmer on Amazon. They've also got a Facebook page and the dealings with, that I've had with the representative com, from Kasori have been very positive. So, so far we're going to give it two thumbs up. As always, thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Let's cook y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Have a wonderful and blessed day y'all. Bye guys. See you next video. We got a surprise in the mail today. How about... Uh, Welcome to Let's Cook, y'all. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Cook, y'all. We got a surprise in the mail. How today. about, hey, this is Tim and Stacy <laughs> from Let's Cook, y'all. Your hair is so purty. Your hair is so purty. <laughs> Can you say blooper? What would I say? Blooper. <laughs> if I was Stacy, what should I say? Hey, this is Tim and Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel.